everyone so for today this will be your activity I'll be uploading this PDF file and you need to open of course your packet tracer so packet tracer you can use your laptop your PC your mobile phone for you to able to uh, configure this activity of course you need to log in by uh, using your Gmail account After that, uh, we start to <coughs> configure our activity. So for today, our activity is configuring and devices. So objectives is to configure various end device in Packet Tracer. Background scenario. Uh, in this activity, we'll construct a simple packet tracer network and complete basic configuration of end devices so step one launch packet tracer so this is our packet tracer double click on the packet tracer icon on your desktop then step two build the topology so create the network shown below so if help is required please refer to the previous activities so first is we need to have this um, devices on our uh, um, window so first is to put two PC and then uh, switch so 2960 2422 and a server <clears throat> so uh, end device and then server server pt server zero okay then we'll be using a cable so for this we'll be using the copper state tool so use port fast ethernet on the pc zero and for the switch we'll be using the fast internet zero one and then pc one Pass Ethernet 2 and from switch to server, pass Ethernet 3 and pass Ethernet 0 onto the server. Next, so once the link lights are all turned green, click on server 0. Then configure it as follows. So let's just wait for um, the lights, the amber light, to be green. Then con let's configure the server. You should have this kind of topology in your activity. So let's click server. Then click on the desktop tab. So this is the desktop. And click on the IP configuration. Then click on the IP address. A uh, dialog box. So type in. 192.168.1.1 and press enter so a default value of 255.255.255.0 should appear in the subnet mask field so nothing else in the dialog box needs to configure so click the x the upper right corner to close the configuration and click the red x in the upper right corner of the server 0 window then next number 3 is Click on PC0, then configure it as follows. PC0. Click on the desktop tab. Click on the IP configuration. Then type in 192.168.1.2. Then enter. So again, uh, subnet mask should be automatic. So nothing else. In the dialog box needs to be configured. So let's uh, close it. So click on the icon labeled command prompt. So uh, this will be our command prompt. So type the following command in the prompt. So let's type ping 192.168.1.1 and press enter. 
If you have done everything correctly, you should see the following output. Your output could vary a little, but the reply statement should be there. We should have the same output. Then click the X next to the command prompt title bar. Then click the X on the PC0. So repeat the same configuration and ping steps from number 3 on PC1, except use 192.168.1.3 as the IP address. So let's click PC1, then go to desktop IP configuration 192.168.1.3 and enter. Then close. Let's try in the command prompt. Ping 192.168.1.1. So we should have the uh, same output for the command prompt. Then finally, click the PC1 again. Click on the desktop tab. Click on the web browser icon. Web browser. And type 192, then 168.1.1 in the URL box and click go. You should observe the following. If you do not uh, if you do not, repeat the earlier step to confirm the configuration. So this happens because the web server feature is on by default in the server and PC1 just connected to the default page. So click on the link and then use the front and back arrows to the left of the URL box to move forward and backward through the pages. So we can try it or we can click the back. Copyrights, image page, image. So the next section involves some basic configurations of network devices, in this case a switch. The routers have the same tabs as switches, so their interface works the same way. So let's close this on the PC1. Click on switch 0, then click on the config tab. Config tab. So note, previously a warning about not using the config tab was given because it is not available on real networking equipment. But we are explaining this tab for two reasons. So some simple devices only have config tabs. The config, uh, config tab can be useful for basic learning of commands, especially for beginners. So clicking on the config tab shows a list of components that can be configured on this device. We are not going to cover what these components are as that is learned in a networking course, but we will show how to navigate and use this interface. So we have the global settings tab allows a user to change the name of a device that displays in the workspace. It also allows for changing the internal name uh, shown at the command line prompt as well as the buttons for saving, loading, exporting, and erasing configuration files. So double click in the host name dialog box highlight the word switch so type the central and press enter so host name double click then type central and press enter so packet tracer will display the uh, ios command necessary to accomplish the name change in the equivalent ios commands box the commands display should be as follow as you can see here the equivalent ios the switch enable, then switch configure terminal, hostname central. This will be the command that will be entered to do the same thing from the command line interface or the CLI. So CLI is command line interface. If you didn't know how to do from the CLI, the config tab will show the command to illustrate how it should be done. So clicking on the fast internet 01, label will bring up an ethernet interface to configure. Notice the equivalent iOS commands box below. It, uh, it shows a command of interface uh, fast internet 01 which have been command used to select the interface from the CLI. So select the CLI tab to switch to the CLI interface. Notice that the same commands that were in the equivalent iOS box are listed in the CLI window. So click right beside on the command prompt at the bottom of the list that looks like this. So this is the central config if. Then type shutdown. Type shutdown and press enter twice. One and two. This command just shut the interface down from the command line. 
So click the red X in the upper right corner to close the server CLI window. Notice how the link lights for the connection between PC0 and Switch0 are red because the interface on the switch was shut down. The connection is no longer active and shows red. So this covers some basic configuration and operation of end device in the packet tracer. Please save and close the activity and then exit the packet tracer. So you're done with this activity. You just have to click the file and then um, click save. So for this, you need to uh, write your name. For example, Manaloto Edward Allen B. Then type the name of the packet tracer. So dash 2.1.1.4 packet tracer. Okay. Then click save. Then after that, you can able to see your uh, file based on this link. So user is my server, Cisco Packet Tracer saves, and then you can able to see your PKT file. And after that, you go to the Google Classroom and upload this PKT file. And after that, click turn in and you are done with our activity for today. Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment or message me in my messenger. So see you again next time. Goodbye.